Hi, hello everyone. Today we are going to have some visual quiz based on the computer architecture and organization subject. So this connection game is a gaming event used to understand some of the basic terms used in this subject. So we conducted this event to our students to make the subject easy and understanding and also it uh, makes the students to get interest on this subject. So can you guess this? So this is a computer and here is like a, an organization. This picture indicates it's an organization, computer organization. So computer organization describes the function and designs of various units of digital computer that store and process the information. It refers to the operational units and their interconnections that realize the architectural specifications. So next is, so this is, you can see this is cache. Okay, so cache and this portion indicates memory. So if you combine this, it's like a cache memory. Okay, so we know what is a cache memory. So cache memory is an intermediate buffer between the CPU and main memory. So it is divided into blocks. So this is used to improve the data retrieval rate. So instead of searching a data in the main memory, this is introduced between main CPU and main memory. So it is usually smaller in size, but it is, a, it is faster memory compared to your main memory. And next, can you able to guess this? These are all memory chips. So this is memory. And this family tree indicates there is some hierarchy we should follow. So this is similarly here, we have memory hierarchy. It tells the different levels of memory starting from CPU registers, then your cache memory, main memory, secondary memories. So this a memory hierarchy is a structure which indicates how the memories are used at different levels, their locations in the computer system. Based on this memory hierarchy, you will have a different speed, size, okay, and also the cost is also varies when you move from the upper closest to the CPU to the secondary memories. And can you guess this? Yeah, this is, uh, we will use hit for cockroach or insects. So hit, and this is, he is seeing time, hit time. So hit time is, if you want to search a particular uh, information in the particular stage of memory, the time needed, we will say it's a hit time. The hit time is a time taken to access the memory in that particular level. If it is uh, not available in that uh, particular level, suppose if I am searching a data in the cache memory, the time needed to fetch the data in cache memory is a hit time. If the data is not available in the cache memory, I will go to the main memory. The additional time needed, we will say it is a miss penalty time or miss time. Okay. So I gave the proof the previous itself. What is this? Uh, he's missed his train. Okay. So now uh, you can see what what is uh, here. So it is like miss penalty. Miss penalty. So miss penalty is an additional time needed to fetch the data to that particular stage. Suppose if the information is not available in cache memory, we will get the data from main memory to cache memory. So time taken, additional time taken to get the particular data is miss penalty. Then can you able to guess this is like their name, address, this is like address and this is one mapping scheme. So address mapping. So address mapping means the address corresponds to which information because usually the cache memory size is small compared to main memory. So you should have some proper mapping scheme to map which block in cache memory belongs to another block in the main memory. So this address mapping or address technique specifies the correspondence between main memory blocks and cache memory block. And can you able to this? This is like all the persons are standing in a queue. Assembly. Okay, assembly. This code. Assembly code. 
So we know the different types of coding like a high level language code is a normal USC program and all and machine level code is written using zeros and one and another form is assembly level code. This is also a machine dependent code. This is assembly level code is written using mnemonics that is symbolic representation. We will have some symbols to represent the code. For example, add means we will have ADD. Subtract means SUD like that we have some code words are used to represent the particular instructions. So this is assembly code. And next uh, you can see this is like a watch. So this have some cycle time. Okay cycle time processor time or processor cycle. And here what is happening this is one processor. Okay so we can have the processor clock. So what is this processor clock based on this clock speed only we will decide what is the speed of your system. If the processor clock is more then your computer will be a faster one. So it's a time taken to execute a particular instructions is determined in terms of your processor clock only. Then next. So he is giving some instructions. Okay do this that instructions and set instruction set. So this also an important term because all architectures are comes under ISA instruction set architectures. I, we will say it's ISA computers. So this computers will operate on the principles of stored instructions. So whatever you want to do that has to be stored in a memory all instructions and the data should be stored in a memory and we will fetch. Okay. And each architecture, suppose in this uh, syllabus computer architecture and organization, we will study the basic of the, the uh, sample architecture is MAPS architecture. So in this MAPS architecture, we have some particular instruction set. So all architecture will have some instruction set based on that only it is executing. So this is instruction set. And uh, this uh, this is a flow chart. The flow chart is generally we will say it is used to represent any pictorial representation of algorithm is a flow chart and this is like boots. So boots algorithm can you what is boots algorithm It's a boots algorithm. Yeah, it is a multiplication algorithm. It's a faster multiplication algorithm. It is a signed multiplication algorithm. Okay. So signed algorithm always be how to represent the negative number by using two's complement representation. So boots algorithm is a improved multiplication algorithm for signed numbers. Okay, so this is a high performance multiplication algorithm. The boots algorithm when it is useful whenever you have multiplier like a continuous uh, ones or zeros means this boots algorithm will be an efficient one which reduces the number of additions needed. Okay. And can you able to guess this. This are all some arithmetics and there is some water spill over, overflow. Yeah, it's arithmetic overflow. So arithmetic overflow whenever you are adding two numbers or multiplying a number. Uh, that the result should be accommodated within the available register. Suppose if I add two 16 bit number, the result may be of 17 bit. But I have registers only 16 bit register means I will say there is a overflow in my operation. So this is arithmetic overflow, the arithmetic overflow. Okay, so that overflow usually in this architectures, you will have a flags or status register. That indicates this type of whenever you have overflow that is indicated by one flag instead of separately using one register to store this arithmetic operation. We can have only one flag to indicate the status. Our right, next. Yeah, it is interesting. Uh, here we have a free 100 GB. That means it's a data data rate. We will say no data. And we are transferring data transfer instructions. So what is data transfer instructions in this uh, architecture term is uh, the copying instruction or moving a data from main memory to any of your general purpose register this data transfer instructions. Because all this MAPS architectures are comes under load store architecture. What is load store architecture whenever you want to do any operations 
you have to load the data from memory to any of your registers then only we can do any arithmetic operation it won't directly do memory referencing you can't add data directly one register and another is in memory means we can't do this we have to transfer for that we can use instruction data transfer instructions or copying instructions we can say it's also move instruction which transfers the instructions from main memory to any of your registers yes okay so this is data transfer instructions and next yeah you can have this case like he is uh, god okay the god and he he is having bit in his hand so this is a god bits god bit when you will use god bits so god bits means this additional bit we will allocate during truncation so it is generally for floating point operation during rounding off we have to use some additional two bits so this will improve the accuracy accuracy of your results okay so this is god bits he is having bit in his hand okay god bits so the first of two extra bits keep on their right during intermediate calculation of floating point numbers used to improve the rounding accuracy so this is god bits okay thank you i think it may be interesting for you thank you students thank you. thanks to all